This is a special tribute to the Godfather Soul, the hardest working man in show business, Mr. Dynamite, Mr. James Brown. How do you feel, Mr. Brown? Wow! I feel good! Well, I'm glad to have you here. Mr. Brown, do you mind if we talk about some famous people? I don't care! So look here, what's going on? Ain't nothing going on, but the red done. Well, a lot of people like to know, how old are you now? Well, on that note, let me ask you something. How are you planning to be when you retire? Now, wait a minute, Godfather Soul, Mr. Dynamite. Now, the world wants to know, where is your hometown, brother? The name of the place is Augusta, GA. Now, tell me something. When you first joined the famous flame, what did Bobby Bird tell you? You got it. Well, how much soul do James Brown really have? My chair is running over. Don't know what to do. Now, Mr. Brown, being the king of soul, what do you call soul food? Cornbread. Candy, candy. Beef stew. Blind beef. Good God, boy, that show sounds good. Of course, now, I like that fried chicken, oxtails, the pigtails, you know, all that kind of stuff. But, Mr. Brown, what did you say to that lawyer and that manager when you found out that they had been taking your loot? Don't want me to see what you're doing to me. You took my money. That ain't right. Get ready, you mother. All the big payback. Godfather Soul, I got to know something right here. What did Barry Bond yell to the pitcher when he got ready to break their home run record? Come on like you should. Come on with you. Come on. Yeah. Now, since he became the all-time home run champ, uh, uh, what did he say, Mr. Brown? I jump back. I want to kiss myself. I'm super bad. Hey. Now, the media said that Barry Bond had been taking steroids. <laughs> now, we know that was cornbread, collard greens, and a little hammock on the side. Mr. Brown, what did he say the media was doing? Well, let's talk about your friend Michael Jackson. Now, when you first heard the molestation charges on Michael Jackson, uh, what did you say then, Mr. Brown? I knew it was a lie. Now, Michael Jackson was arrested. Uh, what did he say then? I'm just a prisoner. Don't let me be a prisoner. What did Michael tell the DA that he had to do? Now, when Mike walked into the courtroom, what did he yell over to the jury? Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You can't condemn a man. Just listen to the case. The brother's been being railroaded all their life. That's what's wrong now. Okay, when they put the little boy on the stand, what did the little boy tell the court? Hell! Never do any damn thing to me. Well, let me ask you this. How many people was on Michael Jackson's jury? Now, when the jury found Mike not guilty, what did his fans around the world say? Papa's got a brand new bag. Oh, yeah, let me ask you this again. What did Michael Jackson tell you about his brothers and sisters uh, when they was growing up? But what if we did it wrong? Papa beat the hell out of us. Uh. When you went to see the president, what did you ask him about the high price of gasoline? Tell me what you gonna do. About that. Tell me what you gonna do. Godfather Soul, what did Barack Obama tell you that he would need to win if he got nominated for president? If I get there, I've got to win. No, we need it so far. We got to have it so far. No, we want it so far. Oh, yeah. What do you think about racism? I can't stand it. Good well, all right. After hearing about the Genesis, 6, do you have anything to say to our youth of the day, Mr. Brown? Black on black crime seems like all our young black men are going to jail. How do you feel about that, Mr. Brown? You know it make you feel so bad. Do you know it make you feel so bad? Now, Mr. Brown, you being a lover's man, let's go off the subject a little bit here. 
But when do you think is the best time to make love? Well, the biggest said in the midnight hour, when our love come tumbling down. Now, Mr. Brown, look here. Come on now. now. I know you like to sing the blues a little bit. Come on now. Um, when is the best time to make love? I know the night time. Oh, is the right time to be with the one you love. Now, you know, a lot of people have listened to James Brown because he's been a world-class leader. When Oprah Renfrew were first starting out, Mr. Brown, what advice did you give to her? You got to use what you got to get just what you want. Hey, since Oprah has become the richest black woman on the face of the earth, what did she tell you, Mr. Brown? Say it loud. Say it loud. Well, all right then. Now let me ask you something. When you first arrived at the world famous Apollo Theater in New York City, what did you say, Mr. Brown? Building, is you ready? Because we're gonna tear you down. <laughs> I hope the building can stand all the soul, cause the show got a lot coming on. <laughs> Godfather Soul. What song is it that the kids around the world like to hear you sing? Santa Claus Cold straight to the ghetto Fill every stocking you find The kids are gonna love you so uh. Now that's all right. Well, Mr. Brown, the people around the world, they want to hear from the Godfather. Could you take just a little of your time and talk to the people around the world? Hey, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to say thanks for catching the James Brown Show. And I want to say thanks... For all you've done for James Brown and the James Brown Show, because without you there wouldn't be a James Brown. Mr. Brown, on the making of this record, what do you think about this CD? This is a hit! Oh, one more thing I forgot. Mr. Brown, look here. If you decide to retire right to the day, what do you think the people around the world will say? I love you so! Well, that's about it. We got to go. Now, remember, this is Mr. Bullworker, and y'all be sure to get my new CD for white only. The undisputed king of comedy. We gone, y'all. Out of here.